What's going on YouTube? We're back with a uh, product review video today. So a little bit different. I haven't done one of these in a little bit. Um, it's kind of timely because it's the middle of, a, uh, middle of the winter right now while I'm recording this. So I wanted to do a review on my KFI products, our UTV tube system and 60 inch Pro Poly blade. So pretty much the plow that I use uh, for the last three seasons uh, with my UTV. The reason I wanted to do it because I it took me a while to search when I was first looking for this uh, specific blade for my UTV. Had to do a bunch of research. I have a 05 Kubota RTV 900. So um, this particular KFI product system, they have plenty of attachments uh, for almost every UTV or side by side or four wheeler on their website. <clears throat> so I was looking around because I was afraid that my 05 would be too old. Uh, but I found a system and I found a bracket system, the tube system, and the plow that I've been using for the last three systems and last three seasons, sorry, and I couldn't be happier. So I kind of want to talk through that, want to talk about the points that I like about it, uh, general in installation and all that kind of stuff. Uh, we'll get into that right after the break. Okay, so the KFI products UTV plow tube system with 60 inch pro poly blade. So I bought this in December of 2019. I'll have, uh, stick with me, this isn't going to be me just talking to you. I have a bunch of uh, B-roll that's going to be going on during this whole video. So uh, we'll have some actually in action um, plowing that I had to do uh, one evening last season uh, to uh, throw in here. So like I said, I've had this for three seasons of snow now. I use it on my 05 Kubota RTV 900. Um, I actually contacted KFI products when I was looking at their website because I wanted to make sure it would fit my UTV. They got back to me very quickly, did it all through email. I didn't have to call anyone what I like to do, and they said it would absolutely fit my uh, fit my rig. So that's what I did. I bought the bracket system, and then I bought the tube system You know that they have on the website, and then you can kind of pick which plow you want, and I went with the 16 Pro Poly Blade. Um, we've had decent snowstorms, I'd say, the last year we had two 10 inch snowstorms and they the uh the system with utv worked wonderful so um had about 10 inches of snow i think my utv was probably about where it was pushing because some of that snow was really heavy i was probably topping out at about 10 11 12 inches there of snow um, but i was able to do my driveway and our our road is not a public road that comes back to the house so i have to go out a pretty decent amount to uh to plow so I only use this for my residential purposes, so I use it for my driveway, obviously my road out to the main road, and then I also have to, you know, I'll plow some of my neighbors out as well. So realize I'm not using it as a, a commercial use. I'm only using it residential, so this is from a residential perspective um, with using it, you know, multiple times a season to uh, clear the snow. So just a heads up there. Um, talking about the parts, so the UTV bracket system, uh, I haven't had any rust for the last three seasons. Uh, I leave that on as well. So um, when I sent them pictures to make sure it was going to fit, they told me, you know, I kind of showed them underneath the UTV and then it's been under there ever since, since I put it on. Um, I had the plow tube system, I haven't had any issues with that. No rust there either. either. You know, it has a bunch of springs and everything on it to uh, allow for the jarring of pushing the snow or packing it against a, you know, a pile. Uh, and then I have a, the 60 inch pro poly blade. Uh, no issues there, even with the, you know, I like the little plastic rubber neoprene uh, guide thing they have on the top of it. All the bolts and everything have not rusted. So I, I do take care of myself. I usually wash it after each uh, season or even after each snow if I, uh, if I, if it's not that cold, but um, it's been working great so far. So talking a little bit about installation. Uh, one thing I am not mechanically Shame. inclined. I am <laughs> one of the worst people when it comes Shame. to putting things together uh the a, the directions for the kfi um they were very easy a lot of the parts came together in in large pieces and then you were just attaching things so um if i can put this thing together by myself you absolutely can if you have any type of mechanical aptitude you will be totally fine so don't let that scare you um so really the plow kind of came as itself the tube system from what i can remember came at itself and then the bracket came so i was able to put the bracket on underneath the utv and that just kind of has like you know uh, so some holes where you where you slide uh where you slide uh the the bolting or like kind of like a trailer you know pin uh through so then you attach the plow um 
attach the plow to the tube system. You got to attach the uh, attach the plow skid plates on the bottom to make sure you know it rides up off the ground, and then you're attaching the tube system to the bracket. Um, the plastic rubber guide on the top, you have to you have to attach that on as well. You have to attach some springs uh, to make sure, like I said, to so the plow can flex. Um, and then you're bolting it onto the, the UTV. So not a big deal there. Nothing super, super tricky. You just need, you know, a wrench, um, some socket sets, all that kind of stuff. So um, it does have a two-year limited warranty. So I'm technically out of warranty now, but I don't really have any concerns with that. Um, plowing in general, let's get into that. So, you know, I have some, some B-roll here I can run, but um, I love the ability to change the angle. So it has kind of three settings, you know, straight, uh, left, left angle, right angle, depending on which way you're going or which side you want the snow to go off of, depending on whether you're coming forward or back or whatever that looks like. Um, it's a mechanical to do that. So you just lift the pin and you and you roll it. I haven't had any issues with it getting stuck. It's super easy to roll at each angle, whether straight or left or right. Um, I don't mind jumping out of the UTV and changing the angle and then jumping back in. That's not a big deal to me. Um, I do use a winch system that was on my UTV to lift and lower uh, the plow since it is all mechanical. So realize that it's not hydraulic. I don't have hydraulics with my UTV. So the previous owner of my UTV that I bought it from, he actually had the winch system set up and was going up over the back of the UTV and it was for hunting um, purposes. And so now I just kind of flipped he has like this, you know, this roller that the, the guide cable rolls over and I have it going up over the, uh, the cow guard on the UTV and down to catch the plow to be able to lift it up. Um, and then I have obviously just a control system for up and down for the, uh, for the actual winch system. So that works really well. Um, I can plow at a pretty decent speed too. Now the RTV uh, 900 is not known for pace, so it's not a UTV you're going to go like bombing around. Uh, the trails with but it does a really good job it's got like you know lot not a lot of speed but got decent power um decent weight as well which helps so like i have a dump bed so i'll throw some weight in the back of that to give my four-wheel drive a little bit more uh more more traction uh, but i like the speed i can plow in as well especially because the the road not so much the driveway that i have to plow um it's pretty long so it allows me to kind of do that at pace which i like um like i mentioned before 10 inch snowstorms probably get into the, the the top end of what this thing could push before it starts coming over the top um and actually you know it, it is 60 inches in length but i have the paper here i don't know if i have the the bottom to top um but i'll take a look at that and i'll plug that in the video um just so you know the height of it as well um but the 10 inch snowstorm you know probably really was around my utv power and more than just the uh uh, the plow but uh 10 12 inches you're you're going to be able to do that with this plow um the other nice thing is i we get a lot of slushy snow here in south central pennsylvania so it's not always super super cold enough uh every season so it's even great with the slushy snow it has no problem with that pushes it right to the side and that's kind of the most annoying snow to get rid of um because it's just like you can't snow blow it or anything like that and it's really heavy to do with a with a shovel so this does a really nice job there but um as you can see from the from the clips of the video that I'm running through this, it does a nice job of just kind of pushing everything out of the way. Decent snowstorm shouldn't have a problem. If your UTV, you know, is a, a decent caliber or horsepower, um, you shouldn't have a you shouldn't have any issues. The other thing is the rusting. I was really worried about the rusting. This does have like a, a poly blend base to it, is what they call it. So it's made of steel, but it has like a poly blend cover or some sort of coating. Um, and that's done a really good job at not chipping or anything like that so far. And that's really what's keeping uh, uh, the rust non-existent. And I do, you know, I, I will wax it in uh, when the season's over. So wash it down and then I spray like a, you know, like a car wax all over it just to make sure that it kind of keeps that, uh, that, that poly blend. Um, so probably a little bit overboard. I'm, <laughs> I'm taking care of my stuff, but I like buying things one time and not having to worry about it. So uh, if you have any questions about the KFI Products UTV plow tube system with the brackets and the 60-inch Pro Poly blade, uh, certainly leave them in the comments. Um, uh, I've had three seasons now. I wanted to take some time before I did this review to make sure I still enjoyed it, and I've had absolutely no issues. I don't have a super smooth uh, road going out to the main road either, so I do have a little bit of dips there, so it's gone through those. It's taken some bangers on the road as well and had no issues up to this point, no chipping no breakage, nothing like that. Um, so it hasn't been smooth sailing always. I've jarred it a little bit and 
fringed my teeth at times, but nothing's been shit wear or tear. Uh, the other thing I did want to say is I bought, um, you can make them, but these little like dolly carts on Amazon, they're really cheap, but you can make them with, you know, simple wheels as well. They're great for storing the plow, um, in the winter as well. So I actually set those right underneath the plow, you know, lit, uh, lower it down with the winch on the UTV. And then I can roll the plow around, uh, into the, where I store it in my garage. So um, I do store that in my garage as win all winter as well. I know that, you know, may or may not help with the rust, but just up there. So, uh, that's everything I have for the KFI products, UTV plow. Um, once again, if you have any questions, leave them below and I answer all of the comments. So I'll leave it there and I'll catch you on the next review. All right. Thanks.